It's a royal occasion. Prince Philip arrives to take the valedictory salute to the regiment that bore his title. Soldiers whose battle honours were redolent with wild bravery and unquestioned sacrifice. More than 200,000 Gurkhas fought for Britain in the First World War. 20,000 were killed or injured. In World War II, some quarter of a million took on the Germans at Tobruk and Monte Cassino and the fanatical Japanese in the Far East. They suffered 23,655 casualties. That was a curious thing about the Gurkha. These awfully happy, jolly, nice little men were the most terrible, dangerous fighting men on the face of the earth. I mean, they were natural-born killers. Flashman would have been wise. The Gurkhas, brandishing their cookeries in this World War II footage, were enough to put the fear of God into the godless. And then came the terrifying war cry. The Gurkhas are coming. In fact, it was the advance of the British in India early in the 19th century that was to forge an initially bizarre alliance. The East India Company's foot soldiery swept the entire subcontinent before them until they reached the Himalayan kingdom of it Nepal is. troops. The Battle of Kalunga, heavily outgunned, the Gurkhas fought almost to the last man, losing 520 warriors, but not before killing almost 800 British troops. An ensign who survived it wrote, run they would not, and of death they seemed to have no fear, though their comrades were falling around. It was a salutary put-down for patronizing attitudes, and was to lead to a remarkable alliance born of mutual admiration. After the battle, the British erected memorials to both sides, inscribing the Gurkha obelisk with the words, they fought in fair conflict like men, and in the intervals of fighting showed us liberal courtesy. This year, the British Legion celebrates 90 years of service to the men and women of the armed forces and to their families. And
on 17 September 2010, uh, I was in checkpoint. Sergeant Diprasad Kun was uh, in a checkpoint on the outskirts of a village called Rahim Kale, which had previously been a bit of a Taliban stronghold. And suddenly I had seen the two Taliban. What he didn't know, of course, was that what he'd seen was actually two of a large group of Taliban who were already in position, uh, poised to attack him and his checkpoint. Firing started coming from all around him. Effectively, for the next 15 minutes or so, he fought off several waves of attack. I was thinking at that time, uh, I was alone and there were many, and they definitely, they definitely gonna kill me. He just stood there and they, they were not gonna get past him. And he'd obviously just decided that for himself. And he put himself in incredible danger to be able to do that. He was awarded the, the conspicuous gallantry cross, um, which is second only to the Victoria Cross, and, uh, and an absolutely just recognition of what he did that night. I do really proud to be a um, Gakas uh, because uh, my grandfather and my father was also Gakas, and I'm really proud to get this award.